For the reaction of 2A plus B and 2C given products, the following initial rate data was collected at constant temperature. We want to determine the rate law for this. Now we know it's going to be something like this, where A is going to have some coefficient, and B is going to have some other one, and C is going to have yet another one. We're going to need to solve for each one of those coefficients, the M, N, and P. All right, so to get that first one, A, I want to find a situation where B doesn't change and C doesn't change, and only A is allowed to change. So I'm going to mark those two runs out for this one, mainly because there is no way I want those because those are definitely the changes. All right, so we're looking at trial one and two. And the rate for 1 is 388. The rate for 2 is 0.758. Technically, this both of them will be have our K's and the B's and the C's. But since the C and the B are both constant there, they're both 0.5 and 0.275, they would cancel out. And so would the K. So the only thing that's going to be on this side is the two different A values, so 0.231 and 0.451, and I'm going to pull that M out. Now I'm just going to solve for M. If all things well and good, it's going to be a nice integer. So 0.388 divided by 0 0.758, 0 0.511, and then 0.231 divided by 0 0.451, 0 0.512. That's a one to one. I'm gonna say my M is one. All right, now I'm gonna do one where I only let B vary, but A and C are constant. So uh, I can't look at this one and I can't look at that one. So I'm gonna be doing rate one and rate three. So 1 is 0.388, and 3 is 0.388. All right, um, I don't need to do the math on this. Since uh, the changing the concentration of B had no effect whatsoever on the rate, I can actually just go up there and immediately say that must be zeroth order. And then the last one, I want where C changes, so I'm definitely using 4, but I want uh, where A and B don't change. So it looks like rate one and rate four. One is 0.23, oh wait, that's not my rate. My rate is 0.388 and the rate for four is 0 0.091. All these are held constant. The only thing that changes this is 0 0.501 and this is 0 0.111 and we are going to solve for whatever P is. So I have 0 0.388 divided by 0 0.0191 gives me 20 and 0 0.501 divided by 0 0.111 is about 5. Well, that's roughly squared. All right. P is a 2. So, uh, my rate law has that 1, 0, and 2. And remember, since it's 0, it might not even be there. So, A to the first and C to the second. And if I need to solve for K, if it wants that, just pick one of the trials, plug in all the values, and then solve for K.